Friday, y'all. We made it. It's been one hell of a week. It's been <laughs> a month, but we made it. And I am, I've been working overtime this week. The girls have been sick. Um, I was sick before that. Joseph is trying not to get sick, but he's sneezing and his voice is going a little bit. But man, I just, I just feel like, and don't get me wrong, overall, you know, we are blessed. And I'm, I hate to complain, but at the same time, like, no matter what you, you know, what comes your way in life, you know, it's just, you're going to have, like, trials. And even if they're not, you know, huge trials, they're still frustrating. And when you're going through it, you know. And I was just thinking, like, when, you know, you feel like you failed, like, a small test. I feel like in our life, you know, we're going to have, like, test of faith and of course the devil's going to tempt you and test you know try to throw things at you and it's you're up to you to you know put your faith in Jesus and to not fall into the trap and not fall into temptation and not give into your flesh like even in the middle of you know things when you feel frustrated or whatever but I was just thinking when you feel like you mess up you know in a way it, it sucks but in a way it's good because it reminds you that you know, you, it reminds us that we need a savior, um, and, you know, of that need, excuse me, that we always are go going to need a savior. Sometimes I feel like we can get too comfortable, you know, with things going smooth to where you just kind of, I don't know, like you can take life for granted and, um, I don't know, but it's just good. It feels good. I'm feeling like just being reminded that, you know, I am definitely human. I definitely struggle with my flesh, and God <laughs> is not done with me, though, so God is definitely working with me, and I'm learning and growing, and we're always going to be learning and growing, you know, throughout our whole life, so anyways, and also with the girls being sick, it makes me realize, like, how precious our health is, and to not take our health, our good health for granted, you know, um, but anyways, so this weekend is Father's Day weekend. I'm really excited to celebrate Joseph. He's an amazing, perfect, he's the perfect dad. Um, I mean, none of us are perfect, but he's the perfect dad because the love that he has for the girls is just unmeasurable. It's unconditional. It's just such a, it's so beautiful. It, and it's been this way since Joseph you know, has been in my life, um, and since he's been in Ari's life, both of our lives, you know, it's been that way since day one, and it's never changed, and I just thank him so much, you know, I just appreciate him so, so much, like, words cannot describe how thankful I am for him, and the love that, you know, he gives our girls, like, it's just amazing, it's an amazing blessing, and, you know, no matter what you are, you know, dealing with at the moment, like, nothing's worth, you know, ruining your peace, and I don't know, just, at the end of the day, it's like, we have so much to be thankful for, and we're so blessed, like, I'm so blessed, I've got to stop letting little things get, you know, in the way, and get me frustrated, or, like, anxiety, I guess it's anxiety, and I just, you know, this week, more so than normal, I just, I, I just felt myself, my flesh, just really strong, and I don't like that. You know, I want to, I want to remain in control and handle, but of course, we all, we all want to, you know, handle everything the perfect way, but you know what? We're not going to. I'm just, I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to fail. I just need to learn from it and grow from it, and as long as we do that, you know, just try to do better next time, and, um, so that's the good thing about facing trials, you know, in life is that you grow from them. It, it produces growth if you let it. Um, if you learn from it, you know, in my hair, just ignore the way I look. But um, yeah, so I'm really appreciative of Joseph. He is just an amazing, 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 amazing father. He loves our girls so freaking much. Like he puts himself last and he loves us 
just the way that, you know, I wanted to be loved and the way that I wanted, you know, my daughters to be loved. And he just, I just think, I thank God for him. And I want to celebrate him this weekend and make him, you know, feel how that appreciation and feel how much we love him and just thank him. And so, yeah, I'm going to try to make it really special. And, um, I'm also going to go see my dad and um, get to see my sister and my brother-in-law and my nephew and we haven't been doing anything lately because we've been sick so it'll be nice but unfortunately the girls won't be able to go because they've been sick and that sucks that part sucks because normally we would all be together but you know it is what it is just gotta make the best of it but yeah I want to make it really special for Joseph and um, also my dad you know, um, so I think I have something in mind, you know, to make it special, but, um, and then we have my stepdad, who is my stepdad for the second time, he was actually my stepdad before as a child growing up, which is really cool, so anyways, Father's Day weekend, happy Father's Day to all the good dads out there, you know, you make more of a difference than you probably realize. Because every, you know, every child needs, if, if not their father, they, you know, a father, a fatherly um, influence in their life, you know, that father figure um, doesn't have to be your, you know, biological dad. It can be someone else, you know. Um, but anyways, just hope you have a good weekend and I will talk to you later. Looking for it. <laughs> <laughs>